quest. And it's a good ass quest. <laughs> oh, I got a bunch of vision updates. Um, and crypto, I guess. Uh, I paid two hundred dollars to make my suicide note turned book turned. Uh, please help me crypto exchanges into an audio book. I paid two hundred dollars for. No round twenty one has nothing to do with politics or the pandemic. Bye. So that is not happening right now. Um, my crypto is super duper sleeping. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let's go on a vision quest while we vibe out to some DTC. When you want to achieve it, you must be to see shit. Decide to conquer, stick your chief, and go for your dreams. This does not turn down very fast. <laughs> that was loud. Turn down. So, uh, my vision has still been getting much better. I like this song. A little bit they bring in the saxon. Reminds me of re my reggae band I sponsored like 15 years ago, I guess. They're awesome. Going to deep space. <laughs> uh, so, um, watching TV is one big thing I've noticed lately. Um, is greatly improved. <laughs> um, I can't see like every detail of everything and how like watching football, for instance, is one thing that I noticed is much better. Um, it still kind of looks like a bunch of blurry stuff when you know there's 11 guys and 11 guys and then wind up and then hike but I can follow the play a lot better and stuff and here was the big aha moment um, when the play's over and one guy is walking back to the sideline or whatever and they have a view of just that one guy uh, kind of straight on walking around um, very 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 fucking clearly I said 77 <laughs> it was crazy, so I can kind of read football jersey numbers from my chair on my TV. I'm nine feet away and it's a 65 inch TV, but uh, that's new. My new mantra is not in 20 years. Here we go. <laughs> this is all AI. Listen to this shit, it's crazy. <laughs> um, mostly in the uh, Facebook Facebook group calls um, for like different regions. Uh, for me, it's in the Northwest, uh, Pacific Northwest, and I pretty much always end that. <laughs> I like to end different things with like, get vision back, get rid of MS, because being blind is dumb, and fuck MS. And put the two on top of each other, and it's like an equally crippling, life-ruining thing. Oh, uh, so, get vision back, get rid of MS. Unfortunately? With all the research and everything that I do, and or, I mean, all the stuff I'm taking and everything, I can only do one at a time. So, I can't do MS and vision at the same time. Uh, they both involve different things like antioxidant or, yeah, antioxidants and stuff and interact with the immune system in different ways. Um, so, the plants can't co-mingle. Um, until I can buy stem cells. <laughs> but anyways, um, the guy's walking to me, or not to me, you know, I was on TV. <laughs> um, I'm just happy I could see this stuff. It's, it's really cool. 
a um, couple of things to point out. Um, so football players walking toward me, towards me, or towards the screen, whatever. Uh, and I could see the numbers pretty, pretty clearly. Um, and that's not like the whole football game is played like that, where one guy is just looking right at you. Um, but at times it's like, yes, that's number 83. No wonder why it's so bad. <laughs> uh, so looking like when they're at the line and, you know, there's all 22 guys, 11 and 11. Well, in Seattle, there's 12. Uh, so that kind of still looks like a little bit of blurry. It's starting to clear up. Like there's two kind of distinct lines of color. It, you know what a line is. It's blurry. <laughs> I like this here. Go to deep space. My cryptocurrency is going to be dope. I had so much planned, so much and ready to go. Yeah. Decide to conquer. So, looking at the TV, you know, just for the the lining up for football and about to say hike uh, after they say hike i can see a lot better the you know the players are running their routes and stuff and um, i can follow where the ball is going a lot more um, i can't exactly see the football <laughs> but you know just with the camera movements and seeing the players on the field and what they're doing a lot better um, it's easier to tell where that pass is about to land and getting this is difficult because it's like I don't know if it's like I can see the detail of like he caught the ball you know I can't see the ball hit his hands you know but uh it kind of disappears like oh well it went into him and he's got it now like an old video game <laughs> Um, so, if it's a passing play, they're at the line, it kind of still is blurry, I can't really tell, uh, you know, the individuals, and see how each person is lined up, he's got an elbow on the leg, and then the hand down, or he's got both hands, whatever. Uh, I can't see that kind of detail yet. Uh, yet! I will. Uh, <laughs> I will. And... I'm not getting no glasses. <laughs> I'm not getting no microscope on my eye. Man. Man. If you want to DTC it, you got to achieve it. You want to achieve it. This is like some hippie flower music shit. <laughs> This shit could be on the radio right now. This is amazing. I just call this kind of music chick pop. It's chick pop. I don't know. AI is getting really fucking crazy. <laughs> um, so... When they throw the ball, I can see better exactly where it's actually going to. I love this song. <laughs> um, and it kind of looks like an old video game. The ball just disappears into his blob of color. Not like the detail of his arm is, you know, back and he's running and going forward. And not exactly that. I can kind of tell. Um, not perfectly, but I can see it. Um, when, you know, they're zoomed in on just one player, that sort of thing. If they're up at the top of the stadium looking down, I can't see his arms moving and stuff, and he's running across the field, he looks like an ant. If I could see it at all. <laughs> um, so, football, and just watching TV and stuff, is getting a lot better. Um, in general, like, 
How do I s explain? Don't stop. Even if they fucking take everything. <laughs> I got no DTC, man. Um, let me pause that. So, what I mean is, it's kind of just in general, over time, getting better. Um, I have been making YouTube videos for like a bajillion years. I'm old as shit. And I can see how fucking old I am now. My vision to, like, see myself in a mirror is getting a lot better. Uh, just a little bit that I can't see. I, I don't know, that's how I feel. Like, my vision has gotten a lot better. Um, this is another point. I've been making YouTube videos, whatever, for a long time. My monitor has been right up to the damn edge. And I have to put my eyeball in the monitor to see stuff uh <laughs> it's 60 percent of the way back on the desk i could put my hands like just from the edge of the desk to the edge of the keyboard there used to be no space my keyboard was right up against the edge of my desk and then my monitor was pulled right up underneath and my keyboard was tilted up, so my monitor was very close, like four, maybe five inches from the edge of the desk. Um, and I had to live like with my face on the monitor. But now, and just kind of in general, as time goes and you just live and do, I just noticed this today, like before I was setting up to do all this stuff. Um, my monitor is fuck like 60% of the way back to the wall. Ow. Yeah, the wall's closer than I thought. <laughs> so, uh, I would say, fuck, it's like, it's a long ways, man. And to, um, kind of navigate and do everything I can see. But I still have to get in close, um, maybe eight inches from the monitor to actually read stuff. Um, let me see. Yeah. So, like, to re read the file name of a file, <laughs> I do have to get in still, I don't know how close I am, like three, four inches to read it fairly easily. Um... But just in general, I can lean in just a little bit and click on desktop. Um, so I can read this stuff on the side menus of a Explorer window. Um, partially because I know what's there. Um, I don't remember what file folder I was in, so go away. Um, yeah, so just in general... Kind of unnoticeably, unnoticeably, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is good shit. Check out. <laughs> Go into deep space. Put it on the radio. He said. <laughs> um. So, like, my monitor is like way back. Like way back. Um, I think I started to say this a little bit ago, but I, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> uh, my new mantra, or things I repeat all the time, or, you know, uh, I want to live by this kind of thing happening. It's... Here's a set of lyrics that captures the idea of soaring past the moon and achieving incredible goals with DTC. That is some creepy... AI hey, uh, robot voice. So <laughs> fun. Uh, so just in general, my vision is getting better. Um, being able to see, uh, like football games. Cause I'm trying to find examples. I don't really go anywhere, do anything really. Um, the next thing, I went somewhere and did something. 
And then I saw some shit. I haven't seen it in fucking 20 years. Um, so, <laughs> uh, yesterday was my, my nephew, my little nephew. He's 12 now. Uh, he's not a little nephew no more. He's growing up. Everybody's growing up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> saw a friend I haven't seen in a long time. I haven't seen a kid since he was like three. And the last time I saw her, like, now he's in college. Where'd my life go? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, birthday party and everything. I'm just in the backyard and I'm sitting in a camping chair and uh, looking up. It's a nice day. Some well, small amount of clouds. It's not bad. Pretty good for Seattle. Um, and I live. Well, not here, but my sister's house, Berrien, where I always lived, uh, is like right up against the SeaTac Airport, the third runway. Um, my whole life has been underneath an airplane. Um, so, mm. airplanes going by every mm, maybe 30 seconds, 20 seconds. <laughs> But not in 20 fucking years have I seen an airplane the way I saw them. Um, months ago? I don't know. Because yeah, this is all new. <laughs> um, six months ago, I look up for the airplane. Um, sort of, I can tell that it is a thing in the air that went by. But, I mean, I can just see a little bit of colored difference going through this guy I don't know there was really nothing to it I mean I can hear the airplane I live where I've lived and I know there are fucking airplanes everywhere so <laughs> um, it's an airplane but I saw like the wings the engines on the wing of course not every detail of it but there's a thing there it is a round thing on the thing I heard <laughs> And that one's blue, and that one's blue on bottom and white on top. It's different. <laughs> it's insane. It's getting better. Yikes. The AI went a little crazy on this one. So, um, yesterday, I was seeing airplanes, um, like I haven't in 20 fucking years. Um, most of the, well, I guess like the last 10 years, probably, definitely, uh, after I took all those vitamins and improved my vision a little, um, I could see that there was a plane there, but like I was saying, I... I couldn't tell it was playing to me. Now, clearly, there's a fucking plane. And, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So, just in general, my life is getting different because I can see more. And the clarity of it is there. Things kind of look, sometimes, things look, like, weird. Because they're not how I've imagined for 20 years they've looked. Uh, also, being blind, uh, I have kind of for a long time. Every now and then, get the sense that they're looking at you, they're not paying attention to you, they're doing whatever. I don't know. I can see your ass now. You better pay attention. <laughs> it's a little revealing. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you, can, like, you can see things that other people do because they think you can't see what they're doing or about to do or whatever. 
It's been an interesting life y'all have led for the last 21 years. <laughs> it's not perfect. I'm not, you know, I can't see everything. But there are things it's like... Mm. All right. <laughs> I hope you change that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my vision just in general is getting better. Um, let me see. Oh, I go through all. I'll go through all my vitamins again. I guess I'm taking NMN. Um, Nancy, Mary, Nancy. <laughs> uh, L taurine. R alpha lipoic acid. Vitamin B12, GG, apigenin, lutein, tiger's mane, site care, resveratrol, and 50% spirulina, 50% chlorella uh, algae tablets. Uh, I take eight of those, no, just bring some good stuff. <laughs> Um, and then also, I do three minutes of red light therapy. Um, so I just sit with the light in front of my face and stare at the red lights. And then tomorrow, I shift over it and I stare at the no light. And, you know, repeat. <laughs> so I do that four times a day. Uh, in the morning, I take everything. In the afternoon, I take the first, like, Eight. NMN, L taurine, R alpha lipoic acid, B12, apigenin, GG, lutein, uh, Corella spirulina tablets. So I don't take site care, uh, resveratrol, or tiger's mane in the afternoon. And then at 8 p.m. after dinner, um, I take Tiger's Mane, Resveratrol, and the algae tablets. And then late at night, before bed, I don't take any vitamins. Just uh, at each dose, or, you know, 8, 2, and 8, and then 1 a.m. Um, so all four doses, I take Methylene Blue, and I started with just two drops. And I did that for about two weeks, and then I moved up to four drops, and then six, and then eight. Now I'm at ten, and it's been five and a half months, or, man, this is six months. I should have looked at the thing before I did the video. I think this is six. <laughs> so it's been six months. Um, I had, I don't know why I say shit, I had a whole bunch of methylene blue bottles, like the empty ones, that I've already used, and I just had them sitting over there, my friend came over for the first time this year, <laughs> he was like, where you got all that shit, he giving me a bunch of shit, <laughs> so I threw them all away, I don't know, um, so I do, now I'm doing 10 drops of methylene blue, um, four times a day, so that's only 20 milligrams per day, which, you know, throughout the whole day, I'm doing five milligrams. So, it's really not much um, in, like, the literature and all my studies and everything. Um, half of your body weight, basically. Like, uh, how many kilos are you? I'm 71 kilos or whatever, uh, right in there. So, I would have done 63 drops, I think. It's a lot of fucking drops, man. Four times a day? That sounds like you're going through a bottle of methylene blue every two days. That sounds very spendy. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way to go, but uh, I'm going to just stick with the way I'm doing it. It's, it's working. Um, here's a song I sing while I'm doing my red light. Retinal, or no, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I mess this up every time I do this. Um, so what red light therapy is actually called is biophotomodulation. So the cells that we're trying to heal 
are the retinal ganglion cells. They're axonal pathways and parts of the optic nerve fibers. So I just stare at the lights and like, photobiomodulation, fix my retinal ganglion. <laughs> Stoop. <laughs> Sing a little song. Be happy about it. It's going to fix it because you say so. I say so. Fix my shit. Tell my body. I'm in charge. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Reggaeton. <laughs> so, um, like I'm saying, just in general, my vision, like, um, I use the painting I'm always looking at in these videos, for example. Um, am I looking at a picture right in front of my face or am I looking at that up on the wall? Things are getting better. <laughs> the blue is not blurred in with the green. It's another thing in the image. You're like... It's just getting better, it's crazy. Keep going. Does anybody else really not like the month of September? <laughs> because... Month of September for me is a bad month. Um, yeah, just historically. <laughs> that's when my dad died, that's when I went blind, on and on and on, different things. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, I made some good stuff, man. <laughs> I just want to chill and vibe to it. So, uh, yeah, September sucks for me. I don't know, it seems like every year I'm trying to like do something, I'm like, no, oh, it's gonna happen in September. Oh, this is gonna be great. No. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> um, whoops. Uh yeah. So September sucked this year too. Uh <laughs> I lost one hundred percent of my DTC crypto and the thousand dollars, which would have been worth seventeen hundred dollars by now. Um, well, I just looked at the numbers earlier today. It would have been. Um, and I would have been able to do everything, and we would have been about two weeks into my plan, and things would have been good. These cocksuckers stole all of my shit. Uh, part of the problem, I think, is... Well, obviously, I, I think we could say I'm me. <laughs> um... I keep trying to do too much, you know? Like my next project. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to really help us. <laughs> so I don't own any DTC. I don't own any Solana. Or any other crypto things. Uh, well, ooh, that's not true. I own a whole boatload of Pi. P.I. Pi Network. I made videos about that on my channel here for you guys. And, um, I think one of the videos I made was kind of like for a different audience. A lot of this is started out in, um, southern, eastern hemisphere regions. Africa, South Asia, things like that. Um, so, I was like, like, up in Redmond, we have like 900 million miles of servers. They're everywhere.
Mm. There we go. This is the one I was talking about on the other radio. <laughs> Chick pop. <laughs> uh, I've been really sad. Kind of just depressed. Because I put so much fucking work into my crypto project, DTC. And I don't know if anybody's been on my channel since day one. DTC is like really important to me. Um, and the region of the planet where the market is active in the lowest level of cryptocurrency where I was because I don't have the money and I just started and my side, a cool meme thing or whatever. <laughs> I was starting actual cryptocurrency. Um, yeah, nobody wants it. So, um. I'm not going to put all this stuff out, um, also, different, there was a lot, I did a lot of different stuff, <laughs> I put a lot of fucking money out, a lot of money for all of it, um, probably 6,000 on credit card, and a little over 2,000 in cash, because I just don't have any cash. <laughs> so every bit that I could every month I'd save or I'd just put in um, since April basically when I started my vision quest that was when I started my crypto that's I decided kind of both at the same time a little bit too much I think maybe <laughs> uh, yeah so I am probably going to shut my chat down today and Change the they call it a logo or my my icon for my cryptocurrency the DTC token. Um, I, yo, I was not treated well in crypto. <laughs> I, I I feel like the fuck they don't deserve DTC. In you know like a a quick shot but also I don't hold any I don't have any control and it kind of feels like anybody can just do whatever they want in my name I know that's dumb but it's kind of how it feels so I want to possibly uh, probably I will later today make a infographic kind of like just a circle with some text um, you know, a white circle with some black text that says, they stole my DTC, they stole my soul, or not like, in my body, S-O-L, Solana, soul, um, that's what you use to like, buy stuff and do things, and that's what I was saving, and that's what all of it just disappeared, and then they sold it, and collapsed the price of my crypto, um, but one good thing is they sold it. So 1.303 billion DTC, that's what I held. Um, and it got put into the market so I could technically just buy it again. On that note, when I started this, I created 6 billion tokens, uh, 600 hours. Okay. Then there's two things you need to do when you create a token. You need to burn just means you need to like say you can't do this or uncheck a box and it costs you money um yeah do it on a certain website so i wanted to revoke the mint authority it says i can't add more tokens so then that's good people will buy it and they're like oh well he's not just gonna add more on me and then it burn the revoke or revoke the mint authority and revoke the freeze authority so i couldn't freeze it Meaning people couldn't sell or they couldn't buy. It was just frozen. So I would not have the opportunity to do those two things, which is good. That's what you want to do, uh, see in a crypto. Um, but the website wouldn't work no matter how many times I clicked it. 
Six hundred dollars. Twenty-five. Yeah. Gone. Six hundred dollars wasted. Because crypto website didn't work. Um, I had to create another six billion. Then I had to burn the first six billion. And then that only cost sixty bucks, so not that bad. But I'm at almost thirteen hundred now. And that's money I had to save buy crypto so that I could buy the stuff or pay for these things. Um, and for a third time, I'm going to have to buy the 1.3 billion DTC so that I have 400 million for me, I have 300 million for the marketing team and the DTC core team and the different teams be able to pay them or reward them for things that they're going to help me do um because i can't do everything right i'm not experienced in crypto i'm not quick i'm not good blah 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 uh so i had another 300 million for exchanges and business operating costs um to pay off my credit card that would have been really nice i could have sold some made some money then paid off my credit card because that's what I used to start the business. And use that money to actually start a corporation. And then umbrella the shit over the top of two LLCs. And then, man, I'm going to get my tax rate down to like 13%. For what? You don't make any money. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm thinking that I'm going to make like a circle infographic. Just white black text that says they stole all my DTC they stole all my soul um, maybe one day when I get real money I'll come back to this but DTC is Z Z Z Z Z it's just sleeping it's just a dead crypto there's hundreds of thousands of those but it's sad And it's, yeah, that is the wrong thing to do. I wish that this had a much quicker, much cheaper, uh, like, feedback. Hey, this ain't going to work. Um, to try and actually make money so I can get back to DTC, um, I started a new coin um, on Pump.Fun. And um, do, do, do. so I started a new um coin on Pump Dot Fun, and I had a, uh, what these kids call a thesis. I know what a thesis is, but <laughs> it's funny. They just wrap everything up and like, that's a thesis. Okay. Um, so I had a thesis that the 18 to 24 year old boys, ladies, excuse my language and vulgarity here. Ah. Uh, I thought the 22-year-old boys, the 18-year-old boys, what do you know? The meme coin traders, that's what they say. Their age rate is. Um, yeah, they, they don't like pussy no more. I don't get it. I don't understand. Come on. There we go. Wait. Uh... I created something called camel coins. Girls wearing yoga pants with camel toes. And all of this crypto memes and everything, it's just about an image. They don't want that image. Okay. Not a single person bought it. I lost $3 in like five hours. I let it sit up there for like five hours. Tens of thousands of people saw that. But I mean, people, I mean like, Kids! 
I don't understand that at all. They'd rather have like a uh, line art cartoon thing of a potato. I, I don't know. These, these kids are really weird. <laughs> When you want to achieve it. <sighs> so, uh, my cryptocurrency project is. Uh, I can come back to it. I just need money. Real money. Like, somebody's been working in a career and everything their whole life, and then now they're 45. And Oh, I want to do crypto. Oh, well, I have this IRA with 49000 and this thing with 250000 I guess I could take from that. This is going to be profitable. <laughs> Here's my $9. <laughs> Going too deep space. I would say that we went to the center of the earth because it just went down. Yeah. My crypto project makes me sad. <laughs> um, I gotta clean this up. Too much shit. There we go. Um, don't stop. I say that all the time. My next project, what I'm working on now, I just need a credit card. <laughs> I have a credit card. It's fine. I just, uh, there's been so much fraud in my life. In September, they stole everything from me. And there were 32 attempts to access my credit card. Use it on XYZ, random website which nobody's ever heard of or nobody's ever gone to. Uh, just to see if this card will work. You know, use their method. My credit card got shut off and now I don't have a card. And my monthly um, subscriptions or whatever to like 11 Labs for the voice. Uh, I'm going on a fishing quest. <laughs> um, all that might disappear. And ChatGPT, um, all of the chats that I've got set up, there's some pretty important information. Um, shut up. Tell me about my next thing. I'm not a crackhead, I just fail quickly, okay? <laughs> uh, see, like this right now, what I'm doing, my um, positioning or whatever, <laughs> like my elbow and forearm are on the front edge of the desk before my keyboard. Not in 20 years. I'm just talking and casually got up here and I'm relaxed and there's always a keyboard right here anybody else has that problem uh, I still have to get close to actually read the shit but um let me take a drink and I'll tell you what that says mmm Where's my code? Where's my code? Where's my code? There you go. Um, so, what I am trying to do now, because AI has advanced. There's been a new update, a new program, a new way to work. It's called Blitz.new. Um, basically, you type out a prompt. Or you just tell it what you want to make. Um, and then it makes it for you. So, like, I've been trying to 
do programming and stuff for God, it's been a year and a half or so with no real success because there's other stuff you gotta do when you make a program <laughs> and necessarily all of that I don't know um, and I've had a lot of problems with installing packages um, one of my videos a long time ago probably last summer uh, I was like does anybody know pocket sphinx or you know I had all these different packages I was trying to figure out and nothing would work this just does it for you. Thanks, AI. That's what I need. That's exactly what I need. So I got this nine page prompt <laughs> about everything that I want it to create and what packages I wanted to use and on and on and on. Nine pages, just a, a Word document. I text up. Do you have anything in your mind you can imagine? Then just type it out and then give it to AI. And I hope we're finally at that point where it's going to take this and say, oh, okay, here's your program. And at the end, I can say, click and just download a executable, um, executable file. It's like a desktop icon. Uh, um, like here, I have Norton and Visual Basic. I mean, you know, just desktop icons. Um, it'll create a desktop icon I can click on. Wow, I mumbled a lot. For what reason? What is this thing about? It is uh, Alexa. It's going to live right here in the clock or down in the taskbar um, and it will have just an icon of the letter A and then um, have a green background and that'll show that it's listening and your computer's listening for you to say, hey Allie. And then you have full AI anything you want to know, anything you want to talk about, anything you want it to tell you, like uh, tell me a story, read a book, write a book, tell me whatever you want. AI is insane. I have a lot of fun playing with my uh, my younger nephew, uh, Sam. He loves uh, having it write him stories and um, do images and drawing cartoons and yeah, he has a lot of fun with that. So, um, I, for the last year or so, because, you know, it's just kind of coming out and safety and this and that, I think that my nephews are fully capable of playing with AI. Um, if you're using OpenAI, um, um, if you're going to chat.openai.com, any age person can use that. I don't see any restrictions on it at all. Um, my sister's maybe a little scared of AI, like a lot of people. Um, don't be. Because Brian said so. <laughs> Helpful, right? Helpful. I need to change the desktop background. I don't like seeing that. <laughs> um, so, my app, it'll just live down in the um, clock area, down in the test bar. And uh, you say, hey, Allie. And then you have full chat GPT. And you say, will you tell my six-year-old nephew uh, how to fix his tire on his bike? And then, I mean, there's no typing. You're just talking. Uh, you talk and it talks. So, um, I think maybe the bike was a bad example. <laughs> but, um, anything like that you want. I'm trying to erase Alexa. I hate, oh, I hate that thing with a passion. It never works. It doesn't know anything. You can't follow up. No, 
No shit. I hate Alexa. I named mine Echo. Quiet. Just because I don't like it so much. <laughs> so, with my app, um, you're going to be able to say, Hey, Allie. And then, whatever, you know. Tell me a story or what years was Ronald Reagan president or, I don't know, anything you want to know. Uh, AI knows it. That AI knows about Methylene Blue. It knew about that all the way back when ChatGPT3. Yo, we're on ChatGPT4. Oh, preview with reasoning, um, pre-thought, forethought. I, I don't know how to say it. Um, it thinks before it does, and then it thinks and thinks and thinks. It, things are getting crazy, people. <laughs> uh, so I can um. Well, I've already got most of the code put together in that Word document that I was showing you. Uh, that is going to make up the app as examples to show the other AI. I do not want to use an API key. I want to use weather L and on and on, you know, just specific things that I designed with ChatGPT to like, you know, put out a code base um, that will show exactly what I want. So. Hopefully, um, like on YouTube videos, these people create entire apps in like 20 minutes. It's insane. And they don't even have a good prompt. They just type some stuff. <laughs> I mean, they're, you know, actual devs or programmers and much easier to just type out a long prompt uh, when you know that's what you do. But yeah. I hope that it makes the program, because not only will it, you know, tell you everything with chat GPT. Hey, Ali, draw me an image of an owl at the top of a mountain looking at a billy goat. Or whatever the hell you're going to think of. And then it will display that image full screen, or, well, I think I have it most of the screen, the center screen and save it to your computer uh, in the My Photos folder. So you can just be across the room screaming at your Alexa, which is a much improved Hey Alley, uh, to draw you pictures. And picture after picture after picture, you'll just save it in your My Photos folder. I think that's cool. That's much better than any of the other AI art stuff I've been doing over the last two years. Because I've been doing it. Yeah, AI is most all of what I do. <laughs> Except for the crypto, uh, there was no real AI in that. Except for this and my videos and everything about it that I made was AI. I couldn't. You imagine hiring actual musicians who were of this kind of skill level to create an actual song? Tens of thousands of dollars, minimum, like easy. I don't know. <laughs> so it just makes it a lot more possible for everybody, I suppose. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's coming a long ways. Hopefully, it's come enough to where it can do that final step for me. Actual create the readmes, install the packages. Make sure everything works. It debugs and works with you. You go back and forth. and oh, I can't wait to get into it. But I have to have a credit card to uh, just in case you go over, which I will. Um, I can't because they got so many attempts on fraud on my credit card in September. I'm still waiting to get a new one in the mail. But when I do, I'll you know, activate it and put it in there or whatever. It'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, the app, the app will, uh, basically be a simple Alexa, um, but it works with AI, it's ChatGPT, um, 
By the way, Alexa is going to be charging $29 a month for that once they get the thing in like a year or something. They got a large language model. I don't, I don't know. Fuck Alexa. Fuck Amazon. I'm going to make my own shit once I can get AI to do it for me. <laughs> um, so, what it can do. Um, talk with ChatGPT and basically you can have it create bedtime stories and whatever it doesn't matter um and create the images you just tell it create me an image of this and it'll save it to your computer and display it right here so you can see it um also another thing i want to add because i use it on mine all the time set a reminder um every day at 8 a.m 2 p.m 8 p.m 1 a.m Set a reminder to take my vitamins. Beep. I don't know. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, that's the idea. I know for, you know, set a reminder in 30 seconds, two hours, that will work. Um, I might have to get more code. <laughs> but the AIs, I believe, have taken enough of the next step. Well, they could do it for me. And that's really cool. <laughs> so, you set a reminder, talk to ChatGPT, you can have ChatGPT draw you images, and it'll display it on your monitor and save it to your desktop uh, hard drive. Um, and I also, probably the most, I use my Alexa for Pandora. So it will be integrated with Pandora. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I want to do it right now. I got to wait. I got my prompt ready. The website's open. It's free to a certain point. And, you know, like everything else, that, all the AI models and everything. Um... At a certain point, you'll want to run out of credits or tokens or however it is they do it. And then you need to put in your credit card. Um, if you make your project and then 90% of the way through, run out of credits. And I'll have a credit card for you. Not yet. Come on, mailman. Rooting for you. <laughs> um, then your project gets deleted. So I don't want to start get 10%, 90%, whatever, um, get a bunch of the work done and then it deletes my shit because I don't have a credit card available. I do. I just don't have a, a thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's most of what's been going on. Um, I feel like there's just mountains of stuff weighing on me. If I can get it all done, that's, that'd be dope. Let's dive into the deep space theme. She's creepy. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, my life and business and trying to make money and everything, that's uh, it, it still goes. Um, you know, the crypto and the apps and everything I've been trying to do for years, I guess now. Um, I still try. <laughs> um, but the vision quest though? The vision quest though? The vision quest is going very fucking well. Quick, come with me. 
We're going on a vision quest. Quick, come with me. We're going on a vision quest. Is there vision at the end of this quest? Uh -huh. Quick, come with me. We're going on a vision quest. Oh, will I get any? Quick, come with me. We're going on a vision quest. How much? Quick, come with me. We're going on a vision quest. I've only got 200 a month. I mean, come on. Quick, come with me. We're going on a vision quest. You're kind of pushy. Quick, come with me. Hey, 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 hey come on. We're going on a vision quest. Come with me. So I wanted to touch on one thing that's actually important. Um, I've been having pretty bad eye pain for 20 years. <laughs> with a dry eye and whatever. Um, but there is a difference between my dry eye, um, eye pain, and the eye pain that this vision quest has actually brought. Um, my eyes have hurt because of what I am doing. It's true. Um, six months in, I can definitely say that. Um, everything that I'm doing, I think is helping 20% with my dry eye problem. Um, I use less eye drops and stuff, but, um, the eye pain feels more uh, like um, a thin needle poked straight to the back and it's touching something back there. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like my eye pain that I've had for years where it feels like there's an ice pick and it just wiggles around. That's kind of how I've described it for years. Um, this is just like one teeny little tiny thin needle boop. and it's like it's touching a retinal ganglion cell or something. I don't I don't know. Um, but technically those are what need to heal, I believe. Um, so maybe those Oh, excuse me. Those waking up or coming back to life or uh, being more active. Nobody who can tell me ever. <laughs> um, maybe that's what the pain is. And maybe healing my vision, actually seeing better, um, is happening because the actual parts of my body that have been damaged are healing. I don't know. Um, oh, I have a eye doctor in my area where I actually got the tear duct plugs put in. Um, her name was Dr. Bowie. And she actually heard of Ellie Joy, which is kind of weird. Uh, I missed like 10 years of life. Um, just sitting at home in my bed crying because it hurt. Different kind of pain though with the vision quest. It, it definitely is causing, you know, eye pain. Um, but 100%, 100% of the time. I don't know that it's the day after, you know what I mean? It's like, my eyes only going to hurt in between 12 and 12, 
And by 8 a.m. the next day, I'm going to be able to see more. I don't know. My eye hurt like hell for like a day or whatever. Two days. And then, over the next few days, I just, like my monitor being moved farther back. I just kind of noticed that today. <laughs> it's like there's things I'm just kind of noticing. Like in just movement in life, I guess I felt I had to move it back farther. And I wasn't aware or didn't remember doing that or nothing. It just, I don't know. I need to change that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Chat. So this is what my app will connect to and what it does. Chat GPT. Um... I don't like the way chat GPT works. Um, <laughs> just because. Wow. Are these it? Are these it? Did I find it? Did I find it? Um, sorry, I'm distracted. That is not it. What the hell? Um, anyway, <laughs> OpenAI keeps coming out with new um, new models and updates and all that kind of thing. And you have to keep switching to a new chat. And that's not the way that it worked at the beginning. I'm looking for my DDD. 